Yoo-hoo! Greetings, viewers. Voyeurs got that funk here, and I wanted to apologize to my friend Origin for this very late video response. Uh, he posed a question in one of his videos a couple of months ago. Why do children play with toys, but grown-ups don't? All right, Origin, I have to give you my abject apology for this extremely late uh, response to your video. Um, but here it is. Anyway, so hopefully you'll be grateful that uh, you got this response. Uh, I personally don't think the question is valid. I think the premise of the question is flawed, but I'm going to get onto that in a moment. And, and instead, at first anyway, I'm going to tackle your question as if I do think the premise is valid. Why do children play with toys and grown-ups don't? Well, first we have to examine uh, what the function of toys is to children. I think whether they're boys or girls, and regardless of what kind of toys they're playing with, children are exercising their imagination when they're playing with toys. Uh, a, a, a slightly good, different example would be this, and this has got nothing to do with toys, but it's more about children and their psychological development. I was at the Natural History Museum a couple of weekends ago, and I was sitting on the lawn uh, taking a break from the exhibits for a while and just enjoying the sunshine and uh, having a bite to eat and stuff. And uh, there were a few families uh, on various different benches around the lawn, and some of those families had toddlers. And there were these toddlers on the grass running, just because to them, running was fun. You could see it written all over their faces. And that's because it's something they just learned how to do, you know, probably not too long ago. And so, you know, they're exercising this new ability and they're running and they have this huge smile on their face. And it's just, to them, it's a blast because it just is fun to run if you're a kid. Why don't grown-ups like to run so much? I mean, we run for exercise, sure, but nobody that I'm acquainted with anyway runs just because they think running is fun to do, you know, just for the pure literal enjoyment of running little kids do at some point though running seems to be too strenuous I think a similar point can be made with toys I, I think kids are stretching their imagination if a child's playing with dolls they're projecting personalities onto the dolls they're using their imagination in all sorts of creative ways if someone's I don't know using Lego to build houses or whatever they build with Legos uh, they're stretching their imagination and I, I think that is, generally speaking, the, the function of toys in a child's life. And I think when we grow up, uh, we don't really need to stretch our imagination in quite the same way. We rely on other things to stretch our imagination. Um, you know, uh, movies, TV, uh, novels, art, that kind of thing. Uh, kids don't necessarily appreciate art so much as grown-ups do. But I think in many ways it serves the same function. It stretches the imagination, takes you outside of yourself a little bit, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, so that's that side of my answer. Now the other more pertinent part of my answer is that I, I disagree that grown-ups don't play with toys, full stop. I, I think we just don't call them toys anymore for marketing purposes. But in fact, we still do. Uh, you know, the modern world is full up with gadgets, right? And anybody with an iPhone or any kind of multimedia phone um, spends an awful lot of time tapping on their phone, uh, doing different things with their phone. And you might say, oh, well, that's not a toy. It, 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 it serves a function, and toys don't serve a function. Eh, yeah, I kind of understand that point, but I actually disagree. Let me take it a different way, though. Uh, you know, kids, uh, sometimes, lots of kids enjoy flying kites. And then you can grow up and you can actually be in the kite. You can hang glide or parasail. You know, so we basically take things to a different level. We're still playing. We're still just enjoying ourselves, having fun, whatever. We just do it with different things and in different ways. People who go skiing, uh, surfing, hang gliding, parasailing, parachuting, bungee jumping, any of those types of things, you're, you're basically looking for that same sort of thrill that you used to get from playing with toys when you were a kid. You're just doing it in different ways. And also, I would say that lots of gadgets um, basically fill the same function in a person's life as toys do. Um, in my country, Origin, we have a phrase, sometimes you see it on t-shirts or bumper stickers, that says, 
You can tell the men from the boys by the price of their toys. And that you will usually have like a photograph of uh, some kind of hot rod or other kind of vehicle or something to that sort of effect. And whilst I think uh, it's a tacky cliche, it does tend to be true. I've got friends in California who um, spend a fortune on the, these uh, remote control uh, dune buggies that they race around on weekends. Uh, they go to the, there's a special racetrack just for these remote control dune buggies, and they literally spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them. One of my friends was bragging to me that the tires for his little remote control dune buggy cost $45 each, which is more than you had to pay at that time for tires on your actual car. And this is a fucking toy. Okay? When I lived in Penzance, um, there was a, a, a artificial pond that uh, is specifically made for people to come down and put their uh, remote control boats in. And you see all these, you know, 50, 60 something year old men, mostly, not all of them, some of them are a bit younger with these sometimes very elaborate toy boats in a remote control box and they're just driving them around the lake man or the pond whatever you want to call it just for giggles just because they can just because it's something they do I know plenty of grown-ups as well who have these remote control planes that they fly around etc etc so I think that the question of the premise is uh, the, the, the premise of the question is faulty I think grown-ups do play with toys Maybe not to the same degree and to the, in the same uh, proportions as children who play with toys. But I think basically we do play in different ways. Um, sometimes not with toys, but sometimes with gadgets or um, things that are basically toys for grown-ups like these remote control planes and boats and automobiles that I was just talking about. Um, and I don't want to equate children with toys, but frankly a lot of people who play with dolls when they're children grow up and treat their children kind of like they used to treat their dolls so in a sense I think it serves the same psychological function you know they like to nurture and take care of this thing and and and, and whatever and I think that that's how they play with dolls and they grow up and do the same thing with their children so yeah I, I don't think that grown-ups don't play with toys or play in general I think we do play we just do it in a different way that's all anyway I want to thank you for your question and again I apologize for this late response if you have any questions or comments I'd love to hear them and until next time everybody remember good things happen to those who wait but amazing things happen to people who just fucking go for it <laughs>